we can find the difference by targeting the tens and hundreds. So here we have 989 minus 912. So if we start on 912, the next multiple of 10 is 920. So we can start by adding 8. Now we want to get to 989. So now let's aim for 980. How many tens do we need to add to get to 980? Well, if we have two tens, we need six more tens, or 60, to get to 980. And then another nine takes us to 989. So we added 60, 9 and 8. 9 plus 8 is 17. And if we add 17 to 60, we get 77. So 989 minus 912 equals 77. Now we have 479 minus 364. So starting on 364, let's target the next 10. So target 370. We need to add 6 to reach 370. Now we can target the 100. So what do we need to add to 370 to make 400? We can add 30 to make 400, and we want to reach 479. So we can add 70 to get to 470, and then another 9 takes us to 479. So we added 70, 30, 9, and 6. 70 plus 30 is 100, and 9 plus 6 is 15. So altogether, we added 115, so that's our answer. Now we have 435 minus 278. So if we start on 278, we need 2 more to get to the next multiple of 10, to get to 280. Now, how many do we need to get to 300? We need 20 more to get to 300. And now we can add 100 to reach 400. And we need to get to 435, so now let's add 30 and 5 to make 435. So we added 130, 20, 5 and 2. So 30 plus 20 is 50, and 5 plus 2 is 7, so altogether we added 157. So 435 minus 278 equals 157. Now pause the video and see if you can find the difference between 524 and 251 by targeting the tens and hundreds. So from 251, we need to add 9 to get to our next 10, to get to 260. Then we need to target the next multiple of 100, so we can add 40 to get to 300. Now we want to reach 500 and 24. So we need to add 200 to get to 500, and then add 20 
to get to 520, and 4 to get to 524. So we added 240, 20, 9, and 4. So 40 plus 20 is 60, 9 plus 4 is 13. Now we can add 60 and 13 to make 73, and adding that to 200 gives us our answer 273. So 524 minus 251 equals 273. Now pause the video and see if you can find the difference between 155 and 671. So if we're targeting the tens and hundreds, starting on 155, we need 5 more to get to 160, then we need to add 40 to get to 200, and we need to reach 671. So how many more hundreds do we need to get to 600? We need to add 400 to reach 600, and then we can add 70, and then add 1 to make 671. So we added 400, 70, 40, 5, and 1. 70 plus 40 is 110, 5 plus 1 is 6. So if we add the 110 to 400, now we have 510 plus 6 which gives us 516. So 671 minus 155 equals 516.